Hi friends, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I just have a quick little video for you today to show you my cute little pocket insert that I made for a pocket slash um, field notes size traveler's notebook. So I wanted to kind of go with a fall theme, but also just add a few other elements that I've been enjoying lately. I always like pumpkin things, and I think the print on this is super cute. It looks like an ink drawing that's been colored in. And then this is a little tear out of corn from a book I picked up to rip up for junk journaling. I really like this black and white plaid, so I use that for the cover, and that's in a cardstock. So here we have the pumpkin paper again. Leaves. Most of this is just scrapbooking paper. I love this one. It's so pretty. And then this pad I already had, but I like the numbers and I like the kind of golden yellow. This is another new one out at Joann's, which I think is beautiful. And I'm looking at it and I'm realizing I put it in upside down because the print's upside down. Oh well, looks like the leaves are supposed to go that way, so we'll just go with it. And then here's some constellations. The street that I live on has the word constellation in it, so that's kind of fun. I'm also a huge fan of cute little deer things. Uh, this is from an old golden book, and I just thought that was really sweet, so I put that in there. Here's some more. It's actually originally 1956, copyright 1975, so a little bit later printing of it. Um, I can't think of the author now, but he did, a, our illustrator, a lot of cute children's illustrations at the time. More fall paper, more constellations. I took this picture out of a flower book. I picked it up at Goodwill last year. It was like $3, a super huge, thick book of beautiful flowers, which I really like in this setting. I think they make really fun accent pages in the inserts. That one has a little more greenery. I was really drawn to the orange and yellows there. This is some coffee dyed paper I made. It's nice and crinkly and dark. It turned out really well that time. And there's a little bit of shading from the piece of paper that rested on it. I'm seeing that I'm getting a shadow here. I don't have the best area to, to make these, but we'll make it work. Here's the moon phases. And here's some kitty cats. I grew up having cats. Um, when my husband and I were first married, we had two cats for a while. And then we had a dog. But there's something about a little cat that just is hanging around the house I think is fun. Right now we're kind of taking care of a kitty to see if it's going to work for us. It's a bit of an older cat, and it's scared right now, and he's hiding out under the steps. But anyway, I like cats. So I put the cat and cat paper in there. Also, it was fall colored so I thought that worked out well some more of the tea or actually coffee dyed it's got a little bit of print from the cookie sheet that I had it drawing on I love the texture I really enjoy texture and papers whether it's actually felt or just visual but that really appeals to me and it's fun to write on here's some red obviously you know your colors you know that's red here's um just the piece of paper I put to cover up the staples. Plus, I had a hard time stapling this one and getting the staples just in the right spot on the spine, so I had to take them out a couple times. I covered that up because I didn't want the staples to snag my strings, but also um, because there ended up being more holes than I wanted. And so here we just have the same papers again, of course, in reverse. So I'm going to put this in my pocket, Chic Sparrow, that I recently bought on the uh, pictures by Eloise Wilkin. There you go. Um, I bought from Chic Sparrow when they had that, I don't know what to call it, I keep calling it the wrong thing, but it's when you buy it and you don't know, that's the wrong book, you don't know what you're going to get, but you pick out the size notebook that you want. So I just have been keeping this in the little flannel case for now. And right now I have my log and jotter, first one in my subscription, which I talked about earlier in a video. 
So I'm just going to slide this in here and I will probably take it on any fall outings we do or I may just do my daily journaling for um, probably October in this and kind of make it instead of a December daily I'll have an October daily and I might try that in this versus my traveler's notebook notebook that I typically do that in. So that gives it some fullness without being too bulky. I like the stiffness of this leather. Holds its own, stands on its own. It's a thicker leather. I have been told that it's Pelican and actually that was in the notes. I just didn't know how to read them. So there we go. So I will have fun using that. Fall is my favorite time of year. It's going to be fun having that. I like to make little inserts to use and not have to buy them all. Buying is definitely cheap, uh, quicker, easier, and often more professional looking, but I do have fun making my own on occasion. And I have an overabundance of paper here, so when I can and I feel creative, I like to make a traveler's notebook insert. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.